Fishing for River Monsters season three, episode five is coming back at you guys. I wanted to wait until we brought episode five until 2020 because this year is gonna be insane. You guys know I got a drone. You best to bet we got some cool drone shots today. And uh, we are out on the river. We're actually on Ogeechee River and I got a few people with me today. My first one is gonna be Bradley. You guys know Bradley. He was in the, one of the last uh, Ogeechee River episodes and uh, he caught a, uh, if you guys remember, he caught a striper. Dog. A striper on a crawl in like five miles back into a creek, which made <laughs> like no sense. And then uh, the other person I got with me today is my buddy Austin. He's actually a supporter of the channel. I met him at a Parker's, Parker's yeah. yeah, Parker's gas station like yeah. months ago, and we were talking about getting out fishing. We finally got out today. We actually went one other time, but and we caught like probably ten or twelve fish, but they were all small, yeah. and so we ended up not making that into a video. But Today, we're gonna to be trying to hunt for the river monsters and catch some big bass today. So, we're gonna go ahead and talk about what baits that we're gonna be throwing and uh, where we're gonna be fishing today. We're gonna to walk you guys through the process. Um, it is actually 38 degrees this morning. It's a little windy on the main river. It is very cold. This is gonna be a tough one. So we are throwing a booyah spinner bait. Gotta throw this Colorado leaf. It's Mach kicking two. colors. Yeah, kicking colors, it's hot. But so today, uh, we're targeting little lay downs and we're targeting spots with no current. So the current breaks. So explain a little bit more about like the current breaks and how we fish them. So the current breaks, we're trying to target canals that are just pulling lots of current through. And we're just looking for the spots, like this little lay down. And on the back side of it, there'll be like a little eddy spot where there's no current. And you just work the spinnerbait right beside the spot. Really good, just slow roll. So guys, right now, as you guys can tell, there's not much current, but if there is a lot of current, what he's explaining, um, so say the tide is going out, okay? Say it's full pull, tide's starting to drop. So you're gonna have all this current coming down in these canals. You're gonna wanna look for these smaller current breaks, whether it's wood, whether it's rock, whether it's these little tiny grassy islands that are coming off. So if you look at this, I'm gonna zoom into it. Right here, it's hard to tell, there's a little island, there's a cubby hole right there, in this back part right here, there's gonna be a fish there because that's a current break. All the current's gonna be coming by, it's gonna be very rough, right where Bradley just pitched. And there should be a fish right there. And those are the spots that we're gonna be targeting today. All those little current breaks. And it should produce some big bass. Some river monsters, boys. The cold front blew in this morning. Um, here in Savannah, the weather's been really weird. It's been up and down. It was actually 80. 80 degrees the other day and now it has dropped all the way to 38 here in the morning it's going to get to a high of about 55 um so it's going to be chilly right now it's, it's not not too pleasant but um with that big change of weather right there you know that 30 degree drop 25 30 degree drop it's going to be harder to get those uh good bites that are going to stay on what i've noticed after a cold front is that you usually get the bites but it's hard to get them to commit and actually eat it. So one of the baits that we're gonna be using today as well is actually the prawn by Six Cents. You guys know that's one of my favorite baits when the fishing's a little tough, just because it's not super um, out there. If you guys are wondering what the tannic water looks like, it's almost like a, how would you explain it, brother? Like a coffee-ish? Like a black coffee. Yeah, like a, uh, more of like a lighter brown coffee though. Yeah. You know what I mean? More like a lighter brown coffee. So if you drop your bait, you can see the visibility. Um, watch when it goes in. See how you can kind of see, it's probably about a foot visibility, but see how it's kind of clear and dirty at the same time? So we can usually get away with usually, you know, some of the green pumpkins, June bugs, black and blues. We can almost throw just about any color out here. Drop it down, I want to see how, I want to see what the visibility is. Like drop it all the way down. Yeah, it's about a foot visibility. About 12 inches, wouldn't you say? Yeah. 12 inches, it almost turns orange. So we're gonna hop into this one, guys. Enjoy the sweet drone footage. We kind of came out early. Yeah, I'm happy. 
It's okay. I gotta edit. I gotta edit before seven. What's up? I actually woke up very easy this morning, right when that alarm went off. I was like, we're going fishing. Yeah, I was surprised when I texted you and you were out. Why is it so shallow right here? Bro, it's perfect. Why is it two foot? No, I've never seen it this shallow right here. I think that that was just a hump. That's probably what I hit with my boat that day. <laughs> Oh, 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 there he is. Oh my gosh. Come on, bro. Don't do it to me in this cold. He had it right there. Yeah, that was a good bite. I'm going to throw it back in. He might eat it. Gosh dang it. He was gnawing on me good, man. I can't even reel. He ain't big. He ain't bad. First fish today is freezing, guys. 38 right now, 38 degrees. Wind is cold. I can't even reel. And this is our first fish today, episode five, fishing for river monsters. Do you got one? No. You hung. Well, guys, not a big one, but pretty bass. We're gonna try to see what our best five weigh today. It feels good to catch a fish right now it's just the wind and it is early it's early yeah he uh is a very soft bite to be honest with you we've had about five bites so far guys but they're not eating correctly they're the pressure shot up this morning and so it's a little a little uh iffy the way they're biting but that one actually had it i'm gonna grab onto your hoodie so you start. i'll catch you bro if you fall in Oh, ho, ho, ho. I knew there was going to be one right there. He ain't big. Oh, man. Okay. We starting to get him now, boys. It's been, we only been out here for, oh, that's not a bad one. It's fat. Look at that. Pretty fish. Second fish today. I jacked him. Good. Look how fat. Just chunky. Second fish. Been out here for 20 minutes, probably trying to weigh our best five just to see what we can get so we're gonna see big uh <laughs> that's not a keeper <laughs> really well bradley got him a fish not uh what he lost earlier but <laughs> a 10 inch -er. Yeah, we get a bite in this current. He's gonna be, he's gonna be a hoss. You know what that reminds me of is where I caught that one, remember? That connects to the other one, I guarantee it. Yep. You got him? Big? Oh, you're not bad. Very, very soft. Wow. Heck yeah. Nice. Austin's got his first fish. We're all on board now. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't big, but he... Uh, no, he's not big at all. That's fine. He's healthy, though. Still got one, yeah. There you go. Give her a little kiss. She ain't big enough to put her in the box. I would have thought it would have been a big fish. <laughs> so we ate it, like, way off? Yeah. Really? Look at, hey, you wanna, actually, swallow locks. I'm coming back here with you. <sighs> like this right here. Oh. Yeah, get the net, get the net. Big and dude, I mean big. Oh, he ain't that big. He's pulling in the against the current, that's why. Still a good one. That's not a bad one. 
You know why? It's because the current's coming this way. So he felt probably 15 times the size. I thought I had a four or five pounder. All right, there we go, guys. This is what, probably fifth fish? Fifth? Because you caught one. Yeah, this fifth fish today. Third one going in the box. Beautiful bass, probably the biggest, definitely. Uh, short, stubby, beautiful Ogeechee fish. The markings on these are just amazing. But um, if you guys are wondering what we're fishing, I caught him on a spinner bait. We're fishing some major current. My trolling motor's on 100 right now on spot lock. And if you guys look, if you show him at the back of the boat, Bradley, all that current, it, it probably won't do the justice, but even my trolling motor on this is just barely keeping us still and all the currents going this way. And so when I was pulling that fish, he was actually going against the current and he felt like a solid four or five pounder, but uh, he's still a beautiful Ogeechee bass, thick and healthy. Let's get back in there. You got him? Get him. Biggin? Oh crap, is that a good one? Good one? Oh yeah. You want me to get in? Here, I'll get the net. You can get the camera if you want. Bradley with a good one. Right after I missed that. Oh, he ain't that bad. He's a keeper, definitely a decent one. Yeah, that's definitely probably second biggest. Good job. Is that how he ate it? He just kind of stopped it. So tell them what we did there, because that's actually really interesting. Current break and just click the rod and let the bait go and then stop and just take that's all I can say. <laughs> like literally right here you know there's small current breaks on the bank and the current almost pulls it all the way out here and you just let it naturally push that bait where it needs to be positioned because if you think about it wherever that current's pushing the real bait fish is where your bait's gonna go so that's exactly what we did two casts in a row good job Bradley here give me something Nah, about pulled me in, bro. <laughs> I might as well break it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even get, I didn't hook set it that hard. Okay. I thought that dang stump was going to pull me in for a minute, dude. You got him? <laughs> you caught him on a... Gone. What? You got drilled? Oh, he's got you. Huh? Oh, nice. <laughs> That's a solid five inch. What? Big? Yo. Wait, wait, wait. Can we triple up? Not even kidding. That's not bad, Bradley. Not bad, dude. Look at those colors. See all the really beautiful out here, man. Okay. Pretty colors on them. The damn bad there. Got one. Biggin? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Bradley. Yo, hold up. I can't get this net. Is he giant? Oh. Yo, we were just talking about how we never catch him right there. And then you get one. That's a good one. Little guy on the spot we never catch a fish. <laughs> <laughs> we were just saying literally probably five five minutes before we were like we never had a bite here. Good fish. And then yeah, that's a pretty one, man. Good job, Bradley. Yes, sir. On the crawl? Oh, Was that the prawn? the prawn? The prawn. And he's actually throwing the prawn in green pumpkin blue. If you guys want to get 10% off, you guys can down below. You guys know we have just been killing them on the prawn. Uh, today's the day of a cold front. You know, I usually use the stroker crawl, but on a day like today, the prawn's a little more subtle. You know, it doesn't have those big flappers on the end. And this thing gets it done in tough conditions. So if you guys want to check it out, be sure to go do so. It is a awesome bait. Got it. You got one? Giant? Oh, they in here. They in here. Ooh. I ain't a bad one. I got one too. Yes, sir. Yeah, they in here. All right, come on, Austin. Triple up with us, homie. Oh. Boom, baby. They're about the same size, aren't they? Me and Bradley just doubled up right here. And so now we're going to talk a little bit about, you know, what we're doing. So he's actually throwing the prawn in green pumpkin green pumpkin blue. blue. And I'm throwing the prawn in black and blue. You guys know, like I said, this time of year, especially, you know, the tough conditions, like cold it's front like flew in today, and uh, it's some more of a finesse beaver, and it just whacks them. You know, the stroker crawl's got more of that movement. This is more subtle. And uh, as you guys can tell, you know, it gets the bites. These beautiful Ogeechee bass, these aren't big, but uh, that's how these fish are out here. You're gonna run into a bunch of smaller ones. But what we're fishing right now, tide's starting to go low, and we're coming into the mouth of this little 
slough or this whole canal back here and it's got little tiny branches that branch off on the right and the left hand side and either right here at the mouth just right away made a couple right there let's get back in there there he is that was a good one that was a very good fish that was a very dang good fish I can't believe I missed that Dude, I mean, really good one. I mean, hey, heavy. Got him that time. That's a good one. Finally got one to stick him right there. That's a beautiful one. Look at that. Colors on there. Now I'm done with all you said, all you wanted.